Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another painting. Today I'm working on a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm going to be doing a double chain pull flower today. So two flowers on this canvas and I'm starting with a smaller one. So my chain pull colors are red and gold today on a black background. I had the composition already planned out in my head. I knew I wanted to do a bigger flower and then a smaller flower. Um, so I'm doing the smaller flower first because I want to overlap the bigger one a little bit over top of it. This is a bit sped up so it does go a lot slower than this and it is time consuming but the results are so worth it. The colors that I use are just my Dutch pour colors. I don't make any kind of, I don't mix anything different. Um, it's still a very fluid consistency. The black base was a little bit thicker today, but I was still able to get a pretty thin coat, so it wasn't a big deal. So for the actual chain pull, you'll notice that I am only moving one side, and then I am trying to keep the other side as still as possible. What will happen when you near the end of your pull is that the chain is getting more and more narrow near the end. And it can only go so narrow because it's a very stiff <laughs> metal object, right? So it can only go so narrow, um, unlike a string, if you know what I mean. Um, so this proves to be a little bit more difficult to do with more narrow, uh, smaller petals, which you may see here. So nearing the end, it does get a little bit more difficult to get really nice petals, but you can still do it. And if you really have to, you can switch to a, a string. I'm sure that'd look lovely too. But what I like to do is do as many as I possibly can. And then I will just kind of do a little swirl in the middle with the lightest color because the very middle petal I feel you only really see like the top edge of it right because it's just getting it's just closing in more and more as you come to the center so I just do a little swirl of a light color in the middle and it just gives it that effect here we are with the second slightly larger flower and we are starting with the outside petals and then moving inwards so the second set of petals will be placed where two outside petals meet, but slightly lower. The top will be slightly lower, and you just keep going and circling, kind of spiraling inward like that. And you'll get this really gorgeous flower shape. Like I said in yesterday's video, I did do a flower with this technique. Um, I just didn't record the full process, but I will be posting the wet results. And that particular flower was inspired by designer Gemma here on YouTube. So I will be linking her profile in the description of this video. So check her out. She's really amazing and super creative. I love this technique for flowers. It gives it such a three-dimensional effect and I just, it's so pretty. This is the biggest piece I've done with this technique and it is a bit time consuming, but it's so worth it. Now I am just adding a bit of gold and red flecks around the flowers, just for a little bit more interest in the background. Of course, this effect kind of gives me space vibes, but I am all about that. So I'm not sure this wasn't really meant to be a space themed painting so it won't be a part of my Nova series but it's still kind of spacey and I like that. Here is the close up and in some parts of this the flash is on just so you can see the shimmer of the gold. I think it's really pretty so I just wanted to show you. Sorry for all of the color shifting though but it is so gorgeous. It is so pretty. I love it. And I especially love using dark backgrounds. I think it gives it so much dimension. Like really, really just pops. But I want to try so many different color combinations and have so many ideas. I just am exploding at the seams. So 
you all let me know what you would like to see with this or just in general I would love to know I hope everybody enjoyed this one I know I did I really really love this one let me know what you think about it in the comments down below Feel free to follow my Facebook art page for the dry results, which I will be posting in the next couple of days. And I hope that you all have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Bye!